Caleb's sweet hands plant. <laughs> Me blood clot. Tom Murphy! <laughs> he, he touched the man's face. Here you go. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm tired of that. It was so disrespectful. So if you listen closely, you can hear Caleb Plant say, don't you ever touch me by my freaking face like that again. And if you listen closer still, you can hear a girl say, who is that? Well, that was a boxer formerly known as Caleb Plant. That's Jamal Charles' daddy now. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, AGM. Praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. The doctor's in the house. Y'all know what time it is, man. Hey, so today, <laughs> I want to talk about, you know, I was just thinking about, you know, boxing, of course, you know. And, um... <clears throat> We have, uh, you know, the 140-pound division, which is what everybody's talking about because it is the hottest division. It is a very deep division. You know, it has some nice competitors, contenders, and champions over there. Um, but I would say that uh, the second-best division is 168, you know. And I was um, watching some videos on Canelo, you know, and uh, discussing his upcoming fight with McGee and the fight that we all anticipate that's seemingly not going to happen with him, between him and Benavidez. <laughs> but I was like, man, you know, outside of... Um, you know, Canelo Munguia being tied up and then David Benavidez being tied up with Alexander Vazdik. You know, there's some other contenders there. You know, you have Christian and Billy and uh, Edgar Berlanga, Diego Pacheco, who we just saw. But I was like, man, you know who, 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 I, w I would say is underrated, but I don't think he's really underrated. I don't think that's an appropriate word because I think he's rated appropriately, but I think he's just underappreciated and goes under the radar a lot. It's like, what people think about it, like, oh yeah, you know, this person's very good. Is he though? But I just think we just forget about it. What we just think about, casually think about uh, super middleweight. And that person there is Caleb Plant, man. Caleb Sweet Hands Plant. Damn. <laughs> man, I really think that this, that, that I've always been very fond of Caleb Plant, man. He's, he's, a, he's a good fighter, uh, a very good fighter, you know, very slick fighter. Very, uh, uh, he has some power in his hands too, you know what I'm saying? That's why they call him Sweet Hands. But you know, I think that sometimes he goes, um, like I said, underappreciated because I think, you know, right now, currently as it stands, his most notable fights for most people, especially the casual fan, are his losses. You know, he only has two losses, one to David Benavidez, which, which he went the distance, that was a great fight, and then um, his other loss where he got stopped, I believe, in the 11th round was by him, none other than Canelo, you know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> so, um, other than Canelo and David Benavidez, who else really beats Caleb Plant? You know what I'm saying? That division, you know, of course... So the first thing that comes to mind that would challenge him the most, in my opinion, would probably be David Morrell. But even David Morrell only has, what, like 10 or 11 fights? So he's still young in his career. And I don't want Caleb Plant, this is what I don't want. I don't want Caleb Plant to turn into somebody who is somewhat of a gatekeeper. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not saying that's what he is because I think he's a great fighter. But I don't want him to just be there to see if they could go to the next level because I think that that would be a, a disservice to him. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I, I, I want, me personally, I think that there's so many other good fights for him to make. And I, number one, the one that I want the most, <laughs> my priority to see would be Caleb Plant versus Jamal Charlo, Big Charlo. Now, of course, we just saw Jamal Charlo um, uh, come back from his sabbatical, if you will. You know, he's, he wasn't right mentally, you know, which is very important. I mean, that's a shout out to Jamal Charlo. But um, he uh, he had a fight with Jose Benavidez Jr. And um, to be honest with you, man, Jose Benavidez Jr. was a smaller man. And um, Jamal Charlo won convincingly, but he didn't he didn't look as impressive as he normally would or as, as most, most of us anticipated. So I think that Caleb Plant, um, that version of Jamal Charlo, if they did fight, I, I would have Caleb Plant winning. You know, historically, when I wanted them to fight a little while ago, you know, he had the infinite, infamous slap. Me blood clot. Tom Murphy! <laughs> Or Jamal Charlo, where he slapped Jamal Charlo for a, a, a lot of people don't know that. Um, you know, first of all, I want to salute Jamal Charlo because um, you know, while he did get slapped, you know, I feel like he could have, you know, <laughs> he, he could have did the what I would say for the situation, everything considered, it would have been cowardly to uh, press charges or something like that. Because you know, I feel like when he did it, uh, make a big deal out of it uh, legally, 
That, that means that he, he 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 took accountability, man. And accountability is lost these days, you know. He he touched the man's face. Here you go. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm tired of that. It was so disrespectful. So if you listen closely, you can hear Caleb Plant say, "Don't you ever touch me by my freaking face like that again." Don't you ever touch me by my freaking face like that again. And if you listen closer still, you can hear a girl say, "Who is that?" Well, that was a boxer formerly known as Caleb Plant. That's Jamal Charlo's daddy now. <laughs> He, he touched the man's face and 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 Caleb Plant got recompensed <laughs> in hilarious fashion. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, so shout shout out to them. But I would love to see the fight. And I don't I don't I think um, right now I think historically before um, I would like to see Jamal Charlo fight Canelo and Jamal Charlo fight Caleb Plant. And, and um, with Caleb Plant and Jamal Charlo fighting, I would I would lean. I thought it was like a 50 50 fight. I would lean slightly towards Jamal Charlo. But now after see, with all things considered and seeing Jamal Charlo's last. Um, Last fight against Jose Benavidez Jr. I I, I would fl I would favor uh, uh Caleb Plant for sure. I'll fa I'll favor Sweet Hands, but yeah, like I said, man, the point of this video for me is that I don't want people to forget about Caleb Plant, you know, because he had some great wins against um uh, Jose Uz Uzcategui, um who was who was a very good fighter. Uh, he had a good win against um he stopped Mike Lee, I believe, in the third round. Uh, Mike Lee, you know, he was a uh, Pretty much seen as an overachiever. He, he, was, he was a decent fighter, a decent fighter, he was an undefeated fighter at the time. He was on the Subway commercials, you know what I'm talking about? It's Turkey Topia at Subway. Turkey Topia? Is that even a word? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the turkeys. And um and he also had a uh, he had a he had a very uh notable win against uh Anthony Durrell. Remember he did the grave digger joint, you know what I'm talking about? Another body shot down, huge left! Puts Durrell. Damn. I'm sorry. That was a vicious. That was a vicious. Uh, that was a vicious uh, celebration, man. I loved it, man. He even pushed the ref up out the way. Said, "Hey, nah, I got to do this because there's a lot of trash talk between them." Even though Anthony Durrell was, he was a little older at the time, but it was still a great fight, man. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out, man. But yeah, I just uh, say, man, just, hey, man, I want to see Caleb Plant back in the ring, man. I would like to see him against Jamal Charlo, uh, assuming Jamal Charlo's okay, and I think that him, Caleb Plant, and David Morrell would be a good fight. And uh, yeah, man, we. <laughs> I just want a big, 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 big salute to Caleb Plant, man. Hopefully, hopefully I get to see him, you know. A lot of these fighters, you know, you have Christian and Billy. I, I think the only people, I, only person I think that has a chance to beat him, I think I think Caleb Plant beats Edgar Belanga. I think Caleb Plant beats, I think Christian and Billy would be a tough fight just because Christian and Billy is a, uh, throws a lot of punches, a strong fighter. But I still lean towards Caleb Plant. Uh, I think Caleb Plant beats, like I said, him and Jamal Charles would be a good fight. I think him and David Morrell would be a good fight. I think David Morrell would probably be the probably be the biggest threat to him you know outside the, outside of Benavidez because Benavidez is already tied up and he, they already fought and then outside of Canelo because they already fought as well uh, I also think that Caleb Plant would beat Munguia but y'all and, and I think Caleb Plant would beat Diego Pacheco too but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the uh in, in the comments man appreciate y'all as always but love y'all for real and uh yeah man shout out to Caleb Plant uh, and, 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 and shout out to him for uh you know I always rock with him too, you know, especially with, um, I believe he lost his mother. I know he lost his daughter, man. He lost his mother and his daughter too, so that's some hardships, man. So big salute to Caleb Plant, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Catch y'all on the flip side. We out. God bless. Remember, God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.